It's Bowes v Shamrock Rovers, Dublin Derby, who's going to win? It doesn't really bother me, I couldn't really care because the Laird Derby is much better. Up the drugs. Big Dublin Derby, not for a Rovers win. Not as confident as I would be with injuries, but I think we do it. And they'll come to play as well. After a very disappointing result against Dundalk, this is the perfect chance for Bowes to put it back right. I am really looking forward to this one. Come on, the balls! Friday night, I'll be in Turner's Cross with the scissors, uh, just levelling it off the new grass because that'll take me a couple of hours. Thanks, Keith. Who do I think is going to win the Dublin Derby? Bowes or Rovers? Who gives a shit? Lads, Dundalk's top of the league. We're winning everything. We're taking every. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not going to upside down. I'm away, I don't care, give a shit who wins. I want to see what the bus timetable is to carry. I'd like to see them both lose, but since that's not possible, I'm going to hope for a nil all draw. Couldn't care less because I'm in the first division, but Bowes by a goal. Who's in the Dublin Derby on Friday night? Who even cares as long as Shell's top of the league on Saturday morning? Am I right? Uh, I'll go for a 1 1. Waterford is the only team to win there this year, but. I think Rovers are going to be the second team to win at Daily Mount Park this season. I think they're going to win this derby. Uh, I think it'll be 3-1. No, 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 boys. It's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Telling you. I'll tell you who's going to win. Bows are going to win. It's going to be 2-1, Bows. Come on. Guys, I absolutely love murals and I think this new one by Bowles is absolutely fantastic, to be fair. It is unreal. And come on, Pella Bohemok. Football Club Bohemians. Or Bohemians Football Club. See this chap here? Jackie Jemison, 1981 to 1990. Top scorer for five seasons at Bohemians, this fellow was. Uh, an unreal player. I don't think he won anything in that time, by the way, uh, for the club, but top scorer in five seasons. Unbelievable striker, 70 goals, 205 appearances for the club, brilliant player. And as we go up, we've got Dave Tilson here. I kind of remember him. I started following uh, League of Ireland in 1995, the back end. So I sort of remember him. I would have seen him at Telly in cup finals and stuff like that. He played for the club from 1989, sorry, 1989 to 1995, Dave Tilson. Um, two FAI Cup, C1, including the winning goal in 1992. Now over here we have Toki, also known as, well, his real name I guess is Tony O'Connor, isn't it? Played from the club from 1992 to 2003. Uh, he was a great leader for Bohemians. I do remember him uh, big time, mainly as a right back. I think he might play midfield as well, but mainly as a right back. Uh, went on 11 seasons at the club, 302 appearances. Might have scored 23 goals, Tony O'Connor. In his time, won a league and cup double with the club. Scored an FAI Cup winner against Longford Town as well in 2001. Um, fantastic player. Now this man, Kevin Hunt, what a fantastic midfield player he was. The other three lads were dubs. This guy was an Englishman. Captain, as you can see, captained the club for many years. Um, real stalwart in that midfield, wasn't he? He could do a bit of everything. He liked the long shot. Uh, real terror in the middle of the park, a pass. Could do a bit of everything, basically, in the middle of the park. Very, very good player, Kevin Hunt. Uh, player of the year, when they won the double as well, I believe, in 2000, 2001. Fantastic player. Next up is the man himself. One of my favourite players ever played League of Ireland and uh, had a couple of spells at, at Bowes. So he did, as you can see here. 94 to 04, no 7 to 09. Club top score, all time top score, Glenn Crow. Fantastic striker, 137 goals for Bohemians, Glenn Crow had. Um, Two caps for the Republic of Ireland, by the way. Uh, won the PFA and the League of Ireland Player of the Year twice in his uh, time at, at the club as well. Won a couple of league titles, a couple of cups. Really fantastic striker, real strong striker. Uh, I would say near the Didier Drogba of the league. 
Next up, Dave Mulcahy. And Dave Mulcahy played for a lot of clubs. And he was at uh, Shelburne, Thierry. He was at Bohemians for a short time, 2012, 14, and 15, 16. But um, was a real leader, was um, a real captain of the team as well. And he was pivotal in the year that they nearly got relegated. He really did keep them up. He scored a win against Shamrock Rovers, which was crucial as well in, in Daily Mount that season too. Um, how would I really describe him? A bit of a Roy Keane type character, I think in the middle of the park for Bohemians and wherever else he played. He played for a lot of clubs, including St. Patrick's Athletic, but uh, he'll be long remembered here at Daily Mount. Now, Dinny Corcoran, cult hero you could call him, a striker. Um, You've had three spells at the club, Dinny, actually, as you can see there, 2012, 13, 14, 17 to 20. Injuries killed Dinny, didn't they, in the end? The last couple of seasons, he was really struggling with injury. But um, he was a real fan favourite, Dinny Corcoran, here at the club. Now, Derry Pender, what a player he was, right back for, I think, nine seasons at the club, 2012 to 19. Uh, only retired recently, obviously, still involved with the club, too. He's, um, I think it was five seasons. Keith Long made him captain. He was captain for five seasons. Real stalwart at right back. And what a good player he was. I love this kind of stuff, guys, to be fair. And I'd love if other clubs done more of this. It's fantastic. Really, really good. Yeah, just as it's fantastic seeing that kind of history. And I like the way they have it lined up uh, in such a way that um, it's obviously gone from the Furthers era. You know, gone from era to era to era up to the present day. I like the way they did that. And actually, I don't know who did it, but the detail. He has the flipping jerseys uh, from each era, which is fantastic as well. Um, I think that's brilliant. Um, you could easily just put a Bowes jersey on them all as such, but he's got the eras right and everything. And the character there is brilliant. I love more clubs actually did that generally, to be honest with you. Uh, I love that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I'm not a Bowes fan, but God, that brought back a lot of memories. So it did. And, uh, it's brilliant. I uh, I think I might have said it in the video there, but started the League of Ireland in 1995. Back then, now I knew Dave Tilson. I would have seen him probably in telly and cup finals and stuff like that. I'm not sure if i kind of seen him live. I can't remember. Uh, but from Dave Tilson down, I've seen them all live. And uh, yeah, it does bring back a lot of memories. So here we are guys at Tallis Stadium and what a sea change this has been for uh, for Shamrock Rovers. It's been a massive, massive uh, difference maker for them since they moved here in 2009. They've won six league titles since they've moved here in 2009. Previous 20 years they won one league title. We've now Glenmalore Park in 1987 of course and looking for a home for many 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 years didn't do them any favors Tallis stadium has been absolutely huge for them not just Tallis stadium itself which is the best stadium in the country and obviously gives them a home but Talla, i mean it's the biggest satellite town in dublin uh shamrock rovers since then since 2009 we're now in 2024 have become synonymous with the town of Talla, to be honest with you and um it's inbred into the town the club pretty much and um, it feels like a, a community feel here if you go to Daily Mount in Finsbury, Talc and Drakondra they're only a stone throw from each other Shamrock Rovers is essentially Alton Talla if you like um, they become one essentially with Talla absolutely huge for Shamrock Rovers and um, you know they've got bigger support now from it too you know if you're into football you're living in the Talla area you're going to go and see Shamrock Rovers more than likely and um, so it's been huge for them moving to this town and uh, you know the history here in the last since 2009 is absolutely massive all those European nights as well one FAI Cup as well to throw in there um, which probably disappoint them a little bit they've only had one FAI Cup but um, absolutely huge hasn't it for Shamrock Rovers the game itself against Bohemians they've got second in the league against fourth in the league Bohemians have a game in hand at four points behind Shamrock Rovers as we speak another interesting story as part of their story if you like Shamrock Rovers and Bowles is the fact that since 2000 Bowles have won 29 fixtures Shamrock Rovers have won 28 and we've had 24 draws a win for Shamrock Rovers and Daily Mount will put them dead level which is interesting and a bit remarkable <laughs> what the hell is that? Looking forward to it? Yeah. Daz, you shitting your
yourself. Oh, I am nervous now. Come on, the boys.
So lads, Dublin Derby finished Bohemians won, Shamrock Rovers won. So I was right, I got a draw. I said 2-2, two, two, but I at least close. I said it was a draw. I was close as well. E I know. Yeah, but Very good, uh, good atmosphere, good game. Uh, good bite to it. First half, even-ish. Other Rovers, sorry, Rovers. Bowls had the best <laughs> chances, I think. Uh, Pichek obviously scored, didn't he? And uh, Rooney had a big chance. Rooney had a big chance. Um, that was the one. I think it was 1-0 at the time, was it? Yeah. It was 1-0 at the time. It was like five minutes He tries after, to chip the keeper. I'm not sure that was on. I didn't see probably in the highlights, but uh, he should have made that 2-0. There were a few openings for Bowles. If Pichek gets his head up, I can turn there's a chance as well. But Aaron Green was getting him behind the defence an awful lot in that first half and uh, it was no surprise when Green got in and uh, played it in and Kenny ended up scoring. Kenny's move was brilliant by the way. But Keen, or Keen, hear me, Green um, was causing problems for that Bowles defence the first half with his movement, wasn't he? And there were openings and uh, it was an enjoyable watch. Second half, Roberts took over completely. Uh, Jack Byrne came on, worry for the rest of the league. Uh, they took over completely and in the end I think it's fair to say it's a very good point for Rovers or for Bohemians and Rovers be pleased second half performance disappointed they didn't get the winner I think in the second half because they bossed it um, I was going to say something I forgot go on I might remember uh, so wait, uh, from a Bowles perspective how do you, how uh, do you see it I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the point but yeah. that room chance annoys me <laughs> no, he's really Dave Rooney's really watching. <laughs> um, uh, man in the match, I, uh, I, I'm going to go for it, right? Because balls and all that. It. Darren Nugent, for yeah, me, yeah. I thought he was outstanding he in the game. All round, brilliant. Yeah. Best performance I've seen him play for Shamrock Rovers. Um, moving the ball very, very quickly. Um, tidy. Moving it with pace, with purpose. Not giving it away, keeping them ticking. His work rate, his. Driving runs as well, by the way, into the final tour, very good as well. So I think Darren Nugent was man the match for me tonight. Um, he was Bowles' best player, do you think, by the way? Uh, I thought Adam McDonald was very good in the first half. Mm. I don't know about anyone else, but I mm. thought he was very good, to be honest, mm. in the first For half. Bowles' point of view, I suppose, they got a point. They battled, didn't they, I suppose, yeah. and they dug in and held on. Rovers, as I said, I thought they were very good again in the second half. They've been like that a few times this season where they haven't gone on and maybe finished the game or won a game in that manner they've drawn games stuff like that so they'll be disappointed in that sense but um yeah another good dublin derby tell the guys what to do don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to push your bell notification button for more videos thanks guys